Hey everybody. Okay, science fiction. Here we go. Uh, first of all, uh, Black Mirror assignment crushed it. You guys did amazing. Um, I love the nose dive episode. I think it's great. It just shows the risks associated with social media as well as the power. Um, amazing how many of you like to be a little diplomatic in the sense of like, well, goods and bads and true. But overall, don't be afraid in this course to give an opinion. If you believe it's wrong, even if it's against social norms, not going to hurt you great. I take no offense, so please don't be afraid to be open. The idea to this course is to make sure that you have an opportunity to really think and dive into these ideas, okay? Nosedive is a great episode for me because it's that classic hamster wheel concept where it's like you're fighting so hard to make something happen, and then when it goes off, it can go off the rails pretty quick, and it can feel like it's destroying your life. But I love the ending of that episode when they can sort of see like after they took the stuff out of her eyes and she's, you know, commenting back and forth with the other person. They're being honest and open for the first time in a long time. Um, but also the effects of the, you know, seeing the particles in the air and stuff. Uh, it just shows how we get too caught up. Um, now, part of the reason this is so interesting for me is many of you grew up basically on technology since your birth or close to it. So for a lot of you, the concept of getting rid of social media and stuff like that just seems like impossible. But when you grew up in my time where none of that existed for the first half of my life almost, uh, you can see how quickly I could view it as not that essential. And maybe there are, it's easier to change. Um, having said that, do I think social media is very powerful? It is. It actually affects my business and how I perform in it, so it's an important tool to me. Um, but on the other side of the coin, being careful that you don't do it just for social norms or that you understand that maybe it limits research and stuff like that. Like Just because someone says something doesn't mean it's true. For example, there was a recent uh, girl that became quite famous on TikTok, which now there was all these memes out about, uh, and uh, was being interviewed by this gentleman, and she just had these two words she put together, which I'm assuming you know what they are, uh, and uh, people really engaged with her, and she blew up, but then all the false stories that her dad was a pastor and upset at her, not true. Um, that she was a teacher, also not true. You know, stuff like that, where they actually finally did a real interview with her and cleared the air. Um, but it was just really interesting because it's amazing how easy it is to create false content and understanding how to verify that false content or do your own research and how important that is, is a good example of where social media is important. This whole five-star rating system is good and bad, like people, most people said, and I agree, but I do see the dangers in it. Uh, if you need validation because of likes and stuff like that, uh, you know, that's all borderline maybe an addiction type thing where if it really affects who or how you function or your emotions, you know, maybe it's gone too far. For others, you know, it's just a positive thing because it does create endorphins, that's great. But you can also see when, you know, someone gets on the more hate side of it, how dangerous it can be. So please be careful out there. Please enjoy it. Thank you for your honest feedback on it. Honestly, that was great. Movie reviews. Again, great job, everyone. Uh, uh, Space Odyssey, uh, Johnny Mnemonic, um, uh, Ex Mechina. Um, uh, those are three I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, I think I'm missing one, two in there. Anyway, I apologize, just top of my head, but I thought they were great. I enjoyed people's feedback and their logic. Uh, Johnny Mnemonic. Uh, Johnny Mnemonic, for example, it was fun because a lot of people got to see a movie that they really probably hadn't seen and wouldn't have seen, and it has some really good predictions and some really bad ones. I thought that's a really fun... Oh, Back to the Future, sorry. Number two was the other one. Back to the Future, for me, is a classic. Hopefully you got it. Space Odyssey is a classic. Hopefully you got that, too, and enjoyed it, okay? Um, and Ex Mechina, the reason I like that one is it's just the ending on that one is just if you truly got into that type of movie, it was just, it was 
so honest and crushing at the same time when she just left and it was done. And it was like the, the portrayal and the faking was off the charts, right? And uh, so I thought it was really good. And I like some people's detail on how they submitted about that. They talked about the different uh, tests in the sense of robotics and whether you can tell it's a robot. I love that concept uh, in the sense of them talking about it not being accurate because of course she knew she was a robot uh so i thought that was really good but i absolutely love the overall uh, effect uh and work people did on all of them and they were totally different movies so thank you very much great work everyone have a great day keep up the good work let's have a great second half of the semester